Okay, so now we have question number 15 from this um, IGCSE Cambridge, May, June 2020, 0580, paper 2, variant 1. This is question number 15, and here we have this, again, a circle, some angles in the circle. There's a triangle in here. It says PRQ are points on the circle. AB is a tangent to the circle at Q. <clears throat> QR bisects angle PQB. So it says QR bisects angle um, PQB. Angle BQR is X and X is less than 60 degrees. Use this information to show that triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. Give a geometrical reason for each step of your work. Okay, so now if we look at this diagram here, uh, they've told us a few things here. AB is a tangent to the circle. And QR bisects angle PQB. So this line QR is bisecting this angle PQB. So it means it cuts this angle in two, two equal angles. So that means this must also be angle X. Because these two angles must be the same. Because this angle is bisected by the line, by the line QR. All right, so what we can see, we'll, I'll write the steps down at the bottom at the end. <coughs> I'll first show you how we can come up with the answer. Well, it's pretty simple from here because basically um, this angle here or this tangent here makes an angle with the chord. This, this tangent AB, which is a tangent to the circle at Q, makes an angle with the chord QR, RQ right which is angle x now we have the alternate segment theorem which states that an angle made between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle on the opposite side of the circle on the alternate segment that's why it's called the alternate segment theorem it's in the other segment from where this angle is this this chord here cuts the circle into two segments this angle made with the tangent is one segment in the alternate segment, the other segment, okay, there's an angle that that chord is subtending that stands on that same chord. So the angle QPR stands on the same chord QR, which <coughs> the angle X is made with the tangent. That angle has to be the same as the angle made between the tangent and the chord. So the tangent and the chord have an angle between them. Upon that same chord stands an angle on the alternate side, on the opposite side of the circle. Okay, that angle is equal to the angle that made between the tangent and the chord. All right, so that's um, called the alternate segment theorem. All right, so now this angle is x, and this angle is x because the angle is being bisected. Therefore, this must be an isosceles triangle. And we know it's possible, supposing this was 60 degrees, and this would be 60, if this would be 60, then that also would be 60, and it wouldn't be isosceles, it would be equilateral. That's why they've told us that x is less than 60. Okay, because we know that also, in addition, x is less than 60 degrees, then of course it can't be an equilateral triangle, because equilateral triangles, the angles must all be 60. So if x is less than 60, then of course the, all three angles won't be 60, and it won't be equilateral. That's why they've, they had to add this little point in, otherwise it's possible that this could be equilateral if x was 60. So that's an additional point, which is a bit of a fine point, <coughs> which I'm guessing would probably be worth one of the marks for this question, possibly. But that's the reason why they put that here. Okay, so how would we show this or how would we, um, you know, write our, our thinking down? That's one of the things that a lot of students have problems with. Okay, we, we understand exactly what's going, <laughs> got going on, but we don't know maybe how to express our thinking on paper. And that's what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it over here. Really, you should write it over here, but I can't see what's going up there. All right, from down there. So I'm going to write it in this space over here, but you should, of course, write it in this space. Okay, I guess. Although I guess it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And what I would do in the exam is I'd, I would make it like two columns. Okay, two columns. I'd say statement and reason. When you're doing proof type of questions, that's what you should try to do to make it very clear statement and reason okay so my statement first is 
that angle um, BQR BQR is equal to angle PQR equal to angle X. The reason why, <coughs> because you can say that um, QR bisects, as I told us, QR bisects the angle PQR. Okay, so that mean that makes these two angles the same. So that's that's one statement which um, helps us understand that this angle PQR is equal to X. Okay, and the second thing we can say is angle. The second statement we can make here is that Q. P R, the angle Q P R is equal to the angle B Q R. B Q R, they're equal to each other, and again they're both equal to X. Why? <laughs> because we can just mention the alternate segment theorem. If you, even if you write it in this um, shorthand form, it should be fine. Alternate segment theorem. Okay, that shows that this angle and this angle are the same. And then we can state that angle QPR is equal to angle PQR equals X. Why? Okay. Shown in steps one and two. Okay. So there we can say, therefore, angle, we can say that also um, angle, you can say X is less than 60. Therefore, angle PR, PRQ, <coughs> X is less than 60, okay? <coughs> Therefore, we can say that PQR, the triangle PQR, okay, isn't equilateral, something like that. Because if one of the angles is less than 60, then they, they can't, it can't be equilateral, they have to all be um, <coughs> the same for that to all be 60 if this equilateral okay um, that's given in the question that x is less than 60 so we can say therefore we can say uh, the the triangle pqr the triangle pqr is isosceles now i can't spell isosceles very well but it's spelled here so there's no excuse okay is isosceles isosceles okay PQI is isosceles the reason because um, you know the two angles are the same you can just mention two angles are the same something like that that's fine if you write your reasoning like that that's more than enough information for you to get the three marks okay so that 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 kind of table should be written in this space really I just wanted to write it here so I can see what's going on next to it instead of being all the way down here going up and down giving you a headache. All right, so that's the answer to question number 15. Question 16 is a different question. So <laughs> question number 15 from this paper. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist which is going to be in this area over here at the end of the video. Other questions from this topic of proofs, I guess. Geometric proofs, I guess is this was what it would be more than anything would be found in this um, playlist over here. I guess it's also got something to do with angles and circles as well, but I'll put it under something to do with proof somehow. I'll think about where to put it. And then you can click on this link to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.